The watch is coming out tomorrow, guys. And I want to show you, hopefully I don't mess this up, why I think the watch is not only one of the best classes in the Century 20, but why people are going to have a hell of a good time when he comes out tomorrow. So what we're going to do right now is showcase the watch's prowess. And now whether that means I want to showcase the uh, early sparkle or do I want to showcase the raw mount of elites. And I think raw amount of elites is what I want to do. So I'm going to get a random rare relic. Huge. Boom. Now welcome to the first one of the day. Here you can find only wins. Only on the first one of the day do we get only wins. It's incredible how that works out. It was quite good. That's a great beta art. I'm sorry, but this beta art is absolutely superior my god but bowling bash is good insurance for a lot of things that happen in this fight like the triple century the gremlins little you know gremlins the little louses you know but uh, consecrates comes out of zero cost which could be good the weekend is good i like the weekend i really do especially against hexa ghost but i don't know if i'm inclined to take this now or this like is what's better card that's the question what's a better card the weekend because Lord knows weakening is really important. Or consecrate at the cost of zero. And the ceiling of a. Mm. This is an interesting choice already on floor one. And tomorrow you guys are going to have the pleasure of making these choices. Right? So the fundamentals will say well, weakening is a hell of a debuff. But the content creator is going to say, okay, well, before we do, it, do anything, all right, we've got a lot of gold. And this shop makes me want to just forget what I was saying and think about something else. There's Fasting Panacea, okay? If you're so lucky to get Panacea before Fasting, you get all the benefit, no downside. Something to consider. Okay. Strike Dummy. This card should read on the Watcher... You're doing six extra damage with your strikes when you're in wrath form. That's pretty strong, right? You go into eruption, the strikes now are doing 18 for one energy. Yeah, that's why this is such a powerful class. Take something like strike, I mean, 18 for one energy, your hand's full of them. Your whole deck has four of those. That's a lot of damage. Uh, duality is kind of good as well, but duality is like, uh, I mean, duality is actually really nuts. I'm sure you can actually play around that. Ragnarok is interesting. Uh, an early Ragnarok seems a little expensive. Do we just try to mess around with Panacea Fasting? And try to get something like Meditate, right? So Meditate can allow us to recur things from the discard pile to make this more likely and therefore be like a well-laid plant. Now, Strike Dummy is absolutely insane on the Watcher. It means these elites and every other elite from here on out is gonna be an absolute joke. But they were gonna be a joke anyways. They were gonna be a joke anyways. Um, little, little known secret, the Watcher makes a joke of Act 1 just by existing. But um, let's, see the, let's see the gold here. Like I do like the idea of Fasting Panacea. Now this is getting a little creative, a little interesting. Strike damage is just really good. Can I buy all three? Let's do the math. 140. 140 plus 276 is going to be 416. I am absolutely one gold short from buying all three. Now, if that's not a slap in the face, I don't know what is. I am from... I was born in Miami. But I've got the blood of everyone. Okay. Okay, so transmutation. Transmutation is really good, all right? Don't sleep on this card. Do I just buy Strike Dummy instead and forget about this whole Panacea Fasting thing? I mean, it's tempting, but okay. This is, what's optimal? So here's the thing about Strike Dummy, because I would like to remove a Strike right now and, and place other offensive cards. And buying Strike Dummy makes that worse. So here's what I'm going to do. Ragnarok? No, no, no. I fight the, the transmutation to you. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I wish it worked on stops. Like, I gotta put a stop to some of it, right? Because then the sabotage knows no bounds. And the sabotage needs to know some bounds. 
We still have a lot of gold left. Rushdown is absolutely okay. I won't hope to get another shop here. Okay. I need better cards. Because right now, as much as the Watcher is like an elite killer, my deck is really not killing anything at the moment. It's got some pretty dookie cards. And that's being kind. But there we go, and all of a sudden, a battle hymn comes out from the ashes of some little... And Act 2 and Act 1 are already over. It is that easy. One low, lowly uh, battle hymn, and the game's over. For the next two acts, at least. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. You almost can't believe it. How could he get away with this? How can he keep getting away with this? Math time. Math time, bath time. Uh, math time. It's math time. I got the mathematics on my mind. Quite simple, really. Double fasting is a double joke. Um, but halt is great here. Now let's do this. Alrighty. So it's absolutely superior to do this first, and then do that, and then do damage, right? Now I could do fire pot now and get him out of my face, and just prevent the daze, which could be very good for us. But I need to tell you that battle him is going to be a free fight. So I should probably full block because battle him is going to be a free fight, but I don't have battle him out. So I do think I stopped this. But I do think I also try to defend because maximizing my life means the next elite's easier. Upgrading battle him is going to be the best thing to do. Like once I upgrade battle him for the next, the next elite's going to be absolutely free. That much I can assure you. And I think saving life here... It's not as important. Alright, so we still haven't got the Panacea fasting combo, but it's about to happen. It's about to happen. As of right now, we need to just uh, slow the bleeding. Now the fasting combo is about to happen. Now, him's a little late. And here it is. Alright, so here's the fasting. All right, now, I'll, I'll be honest, though. Probably better. No, it's not, because we have guaranteed lethal with this. Beautiful. All right, let's upgrade battle him. Oh, that's not bad. I should have waited, though, Click before clicking that. I'm going to skip here. All right, so we're going to upgrade battle him. This should make this elite free. I know it seems crazy that my life is this low. What do I... Well, okay, Gremlin not battle him is better. But in general, it's up, upgrading eruption is better. In general. But for Gremlin now, Battle Him upgrade is the best. Even Panacea is a good upgrade because it can also stop the vulnerable and give me the fasting benefit. Mm. I can just upgrade eruption and hope that I get Battle Him in time for the Gremlin knob. But because Gremlin knob is the only thing I'm really worried about, I should probably upgrade Battle Him. And if it's Gremlin, okay, but it's not if it's Laga, we're free anyways. But oh my god, look at this combo. Panacea fasting right away. And the fight's over. So tomorrow you too can have this power. I want to get rushed on out of the deck. Next time we have like guaranteed lethal, by the way. We won next turn. One, two, three, bam, bam. And Battle Him is absolutely broken. But I won't complain. Whenever you scribe, return the scribe from your scribe out of your hand. Interesting. If you're, in the, if you're in calm, you gain five block. Now, like water is cool, but it doesn't really apply at the moment because we are just doing wrath form shenanigans. 
maybe crescendo is also a consideration because of rushdown. Because right now we currently only have eruptions. I'll do it. Bag of prep is absolutely nuts. We have a shop for meal tickets. I don't have to rest yet again. And this gets better and better because now... Toolbox. Oh, okay. Two battle hymns is kind of nuts. Now, duplication pod is also really cool. Okay, remember meditate? Remember I talked about meditation? It allows us to get out of wrath form if things get hairy. And also recur the fasting panacea potential so we can just go bonkers. So there's a couple things for meditation right now. Um, toolbox we absolutely love. Mayhem is a little bit weird. So, do we do meditation just to have the ability to get out of wrath form? Or do we like... I mean, meditation sounds fine. So maybe potentially get panacea fasting more frequently. And if we get out of wrath, because we're going to be in wrath a lot. So I'm going to do this. Bam, bam. I'm happy. We got toolbox. Toolbox is crowd favorite. Except from cases like this. Like, okay, that's apotheosis. Wait, I forgot. If I play apotheosis, then the miracle becomes two cost. So it's kind of like I'm only spending one energy for apotheosis. Either way, we're going to do this. And then we're going to do this. It'll save life. Okay, this fight's over anyways, because we have crescendo smites. Matter of fact, I should just go win the fight now, because fasting with the panacea is broken. I do crescendo to get the damage. It doesn't matter because it's game over already. I mean, it seems that crazy, but it's already game over. Smite just one shots. Alright, we're cooking with major gas. We are insanely gassy at the moment. Now, Fury was really good because it allows us to get out of Wrath Form in a pinch, but also gives us more energy kind of considerations. So. Okay, there's also the weekend, which we talked about. I think I value here an even more. And let's go for another elite. Panic Bun Finesse. Oh, check this out. Fear no evil. Defense. Battle him. Full block. And we'll come back with the vengeance. We'll come back with the vengeance. I thought you should know. I'm coming with the vengeance. How far can we go? We'll go ahead and just full block because we are gonna win as soon as we get an eruption. As soon as we see this card, it is game over. Man, I love. Ooh, Master Reality. How are we feeling about this? What do we create? We create Smites. What is broken at the moment? Smites. Is the Master Reality worth playing? Because Toolbox happens at the beginning. Now, Toolbox could give us things that could interact with Master Reality, such as Magnetism, so then Magnetism will become upgraded with Master Reality, and, you know, things get kind of interesting. But that's just a whole bunch of random RNG. I don't know if we want to play around that. What we do have for sure is Battle Him is going to be smiting. So we could do Master Rally for that. And only that for now. Or we could just do Empty Body to get some block and the ability to get out of Wrath Form when things get hairy yet again. Right? Because things might get hairy. Our block is a little shoddy. Empty Body is nice insurance. Now, of course, Smash Reality is kind of nuts. In the right deck, just... Too much setup and probably not nuts at the moment. It's too setup-y. But, I mean, of course there's worlds where, like, it pops off. But uh, Empty Body is the superior play. And bam, let's win this fight. Hand agreed. Let's make some money, guys. So when we're in Eruption, when we're in Wrath Form, Hand agreed. One shots. Now, you know I should have done this first. And I'm with you. I should have absolutely. Think that before Consecrate. But I wasn't sure I was going to do that. I 
But anyways, GG. Imagine elites being difficult. Now we start each combat in calm. That makes my so oh, and we get a wish. Oh baby. Oh baby, it's a triple. We start each thing calm, so that makes my wrath form thing even great, greater. Uh, here comes the weekend yet again, but wish is like I exist, and I want you to regret having me in your deck, so we can talk about it on stream and make a meme of it. That's what that's doing. Wish is, has a lot of potential. If we get snuck away, we are oh, and they got weakened anyways. You see, why would I need to put weakened in my deck when blind is a thing I could just get? Panacea. Hopefully, we get fasting right away, and then it's already game over. Crazy how quickly it is game over. So we got fasting. So we just get 4-4 and no downside. Except for having other cards in my deck. And I mean this is quite incredible. I can take damage. I don't really care. I'm sick of damage. Alright, are we ready to go eruption mando? Bam, bam. Bam, bam. I need some block things like clasp and other things. Like, at the moment, this is not completely 100% feasible. Uh, being calm it would be nice. Shut up. I'll be in calm. That's fine. Calm is fine here because I'm gonna wanna be an erupt. Never mind. Uh, our damage, we're way ahead of curve with the damage. So as soon as we get. Eruption is game over. Let's just do the mattress in case we're not. Yeah, we're totally fine. Getting caught in the rain. Alright, Deus X. When you draw this card, you add two miracles. That would have been cool with Master Reality, but we didn't take that. Lesson learned if this is fatal, you upgrade a random card in your deck, so that gives us upgrades. In Ragnarok, it is a three cost banger. Now, if we get Snekawai, Ragnarok is the play. And then we have Ragnarok, Wish, Snekawai. I'm super happy, but I can't guarantee I'm going to get that. So, what's the best card just on average? Deus, so I just get more energy, do more things. Because Rushdown's giving us card draw. And we can always use the energy to dump our smites. Because we're getting smites every turn. So we always have a use for the energy if you think about it. We draw five cards and we also get smites. Energy always has a place to be spent on. Which is a good reason for this card. And then there's also times where I get card draw. Uh, lesson learned... I would love for it to be good. Reddit is down. Oh, no. All right. So if I take lesson learned, I mean, just generally upgrading stuff. I don't... Mm. I mean, if I'm in Wrathroom a lot, it's, it's much easier to get this to come off, right? Because 20 damage. But the cost, it's kind of pricey. Do you guys want to see a lesson learned deck? Or do you think Deus, Deus is just better? Like, you want to win, and you want Lesson Learn deck. That's the difference. Now, maybe I can win with Lesson Learn. Let me not disrespect it. But Energy Relic, I don't really... Can't guarantee. I mean, I guess Lesson Learn is okay for Fusion Hammer. If it's Snekawai Ragnarok to play, I'm just going to go this way. And it is... Velvet Lotus. Violet Lotus. Whenever you exit call me, gain additional energy. Now, we could take the Coffee Dripper because we have Meal Ticket. So instead of resting... We just get meal tickets. Deus is super good, I agree. But we're going to do some weird stuff here. You guys want to no longer rest, which is risky, but meal tickets a thing. If so, it's a little max HP. I never really want to rest anyways. And there she blows. Now, Violet Lotus was interesting as well, because we do have a lot of calm stuff. We have Fear No Evil. We have Meditate. We have Vigilance. So that wasn't bad either. And it... Quite literally has like no downside. But here we have a lot of shops to heal off of. 
So we can do Sparkle, get it out of the way, and then do a couple of elites. We also start in Calm. Yeah, so Violet Lotus, like I said, had a place. But I don't want to rely. I don't want to rely on. I guess by doing this, I'm relying on the meal tickets to sustain, which is kind of a bad thing to rely on. If you think about it. Yeah, I guess that is a thing. But I, I'm gonna want to upgrade anyways. I think the most I could I could do three elites, but that's kind of crazy. What do you guys think? Three elites and no upgrades. We have we do have lesson learned. So think about that. We have lesson learned for upgrades. So. This is a there is a world we could just go for three elites, meal ticket sustain, and maximize relics and get upgrades off the hallway fights. But the hallway fights are kind of crazy. The alternative is to go here, meal ticket here, meal ticket here, and then do two elites. So we get one less elite, but we get an upgrade. We still get the two meal ticket sustains, right? But we get an upgrade in between. We get an upgrade for a relic. So I want to go for the three relics, and well, this might change my mind a little bit. Because, uh, well, hear me out. Hear me out. Check this out. All right. This is actually not bad. All right. You ready for this? Wish for plated armor. How, now, strength is interesting because strength is going to, if I do strength with wish, I mean, we got damage. The second relic? Second last relic? Ah, he's starting calm. This is all, you're going to see all these relics tomorrow. The strength is interesting because I'm going to do a smack ton of damage. Let's see. 13. It's going to be 26. 26 plus 16. It's already 40 damage. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Now, I was supposed to do Lesson Learned. I realize that. I, I realize I'm supposed to do Lesson Learned. But then I also realized uh, sometimes just getting out of the fight like that was probably better. So, let's get out of there. Uh, the last card you played was an attack. You gain energy. Now, Fall Up just gives me a decent chunk of extra damage. But it's awkward because I don't know if I had the card draw for, to justify Follow Up. I love Tantrum. I think Tantrum is really good. And I think it's a good choice. Finesse is probably better, but I guess with the amount of... Ooh, so we got Panacea of Fasting. Like, I don't know what it is, but we're getting Panacea of Fasting, and it's kind of sickening. So I'm going to do Crescendo now just to do this. Just to do that. And I absolutely overblocked. Uh, think about it. Now I'm not longer in calm, so that was probably a bad choice. Is lesson learned possible now? Uh, math time? Do I have to do the math? Fine. Alrighty. 21. 32. 53, right? And this is going to be 28. Alright, cool. What is our first upgrade? Tantrum is upgraded. Looking good. Stance potion instead of explosive. Absolutely. Wave of the hand gives us weaken, which is quite good. Protect gives us more block, which we do want. More block. But weaken is very good as well. I might lean towards protect here. But uh, the weaken is very good as well. More ways to get into wrath and do vulnerable, which helps us with rushdown. But I think we're good in the wrath thing. We want to get block. Got to protect here. Ritual Dagger is absolutely insane with the Watcher, but the only problem with this is that... <sighs> More gold because I have two shops, right? First off. But also, I'm doing less learned, and it's going to kind of conflict me. I'm going to do this. I think we're good on offense front, even though that's really good with the Watcher. Put three airman tags, sure. Wow, so we have a lot of stuff going on here. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, okay. Huh. Hey, what's the thing? What's up, horse? How you doing? I guess I could try to, like, kill the guy in the back, right? Hmm. This is interesting. 30, 50, not enough. 
Oh. I could do Vigilance Eruption again and the end of Meditate. Is that just better? Like Vigilance Eruption? We get rushed down again? You guys down? So now we can do like less than on the guy in the back. And now killing him this early is a little bit suspect, I must admit. But the cool thing here is that I didn't play battle him, so we're probably dead now. now we should be fine, but like, you know, we got Panacea of Fasting. Holy shit. My god, this deck is out of control. I could actually just full block here, but I'd rather just kill. And game over. Now, why are you getting so much potions? At the end of your turn, shuffle and sentry drop out. That, that could be good, but that's too much setup, I feel like. We're getting so many potions. I should be utilizing potions, huh? That's the worst feeling. I think strength pop might be better than colorless here, because strength is just guaranteed four extra damage with the uh, wrath form. We're about to do two leads, right? Study, study, study. A hidden wipey statue. It's always with me, even when it's not here. Wipey statue is always with me. Double protect. All right, so we got healing, bone full life. Ooh, horn cleat, ever form, sling of courage. Mummified hand. This is a loaded shop. Okay. Hornkly is really good and it helps my block, right? And we, we're basically saying our damage is pretty good. We get battle him on first turn. Hornkly helps me shore up some of my weaknesses, which is the block, and then I can just focus on doing smite stuff on turn two. But Sling of Courage is just four strength when you're in wrath form. And I am going for three elites. And who knows how many more leads I'm trying to go for down the line. Now, Deva form doesn't really do much for me. It's too so much setup. Like, Deva is too much setup, and I don't really have a reason to get Deva form out. It's for later on. Fasting, we're already kind of mitigating with the Panacea, so we're fine. I think we should be more proactive and look at maybe Horn Cleat just straight up and cover some of our weaknesses, which is the block. It's really damn good. Mumphite Hand is also an option. Mumphite Hand, we do have quite a bit of powers. So, with Bone in Hand, we can look at things like Wish and get Wish played at times at a much better cost. And when you have things like Miracle to start off with, it might be very likely that we can get Wish played for free-ish. And I wonder if Bone Hand wins out because Wish is a card that exists. And getting this played at a cheaper cost, aka zero, is the same value. But how often is Wish going to be next to a power? And how often is that Wish going to be next to a power and Wish is going to be able to properly be made zero? Not that often, right? So horn cleat it is. Crazy. Crazy process of elimination there. Flash is two for damage. Let's go. Alright, so we got fasting. Where is the... Oh, this is a strength. This is a strength. Uh, book of statements. We gotta be very mindful about this. All right, where's the panacea? I kind of want to draw for panacea first, but I also want to play fasting to get as much damage as possible. And then, of course, fasting without the panacea feels kind of bad. But I think it, we gotta just go hard body karate, right? I can sacrifice this damage. Maybe get panacea here. Okay, so we're doing fasting. All right, time for damages. You ready? There's a man. He said, my name's Big Damage. And I said, okay, take this out. They didn't believe me when I said my damage is absolutely insane. So we can take damage. Why? I don't know why. Meal ticket. Lesson learned. What did we get? Not only did we get an upgrade out of that fight, but we're about to be full life. 
And we got a vault. Oh, boy. Inner peace, pressure points, skip. Round two. Whoa, can I go ahead and just save and quit? Because I clicked two bucks. Hey, Miracle Defender didn't matter. We could have got the perfect score, sure. But Miracle Defender didn't matter because we had the, um, what's it called? Meal ticket, so I wasn't really thinking about saving life. But sure, I could have saved life and got perfect. Yeah, you're right. Blind for the weekend, Dark Shackles for insane damage mitigation or secret techniques so we can pull the Panacea Fasting. Secret technique for the Panacea Fasting. Oh, boy. Panacea Fasting versus Weekend. Panacea Fasting, it is. Not that that's guaranteed, but okay. Rush down. Let's see what we draw. Vault. Ooh, we. Vault is really good, guys. Vault is really good, my friends. You ready to see this? Ooh, more card draw. Now we can actually. I wish I could play Wish right now. But what's better, to get Panacea out and out and then Vault? Check this out, check this out, check this out. We're still in a Wrath form, so look at the damages. And just like that, the guy is dead. I mean, this would be a second perfect. And we're gonna get a lesson learned as well. Is this a second perfect with lesson learned? Are we really just gonna get a second perfect just like that? And maybe even get a Vigilance on top of it? My Vigilance, I mean Wish. Wish for gold. I mean, I would like Wish for gold because we're about to go for another shop, right? Alright, if I do... I should do Wish for gold. Try to save life here. I'm getting gold. And less than as well. Okay, what do we upgrade? Protect. We're getting good upgrades. And we got another home, which is great for energy and <laughs> card draw. <laughs> Absolutely insane. A second protect. Get a little bit more block. Sure. All right. The deck's looking really good. Toxic egg. And um, we have lesson learned. So are we going to be greedy enough to skip a toxic egg because we have lesson learned? Or do we argue that Toxic Egg upgrades all the existing, the new cards I'm adding to my deck, and Lesson Learned upgrades the unupgraded cards, and together it's a perfect balance. Absolutely. All right. Trip, trip, strike, let's do trip. So this is gonna be fun. This could be a little scary, but I think we should be fine. We should, we should manage here, right? Of course, we're managing, guys. We have Vault. Because I want to find Lesson Learned. You know what's funny is that we could even do Wish. But we want to maximize Lesson Learned, right? That's like that's our goal. That's our goal, yeah? I wish I could do wish and stuff more often. I'm trying to just lesson learned here. All right, we got it. P 
Hennessy upgrade. Nice. And region pot. Very nice. Double battle him. Double battle him. Ooh, wheel kick. Wheel kick is just some card draw. Don't even need it. Battle him number two. Don't need that. What against the collector? I'm gonna skip double battle him. That's nuts. Too much though, right? Too much. Ooh, we could do this. We could do this, guys. An early wish? Oh, how I wish. What do you guys think if I just do Strength Wish right now and then do this? Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready? I'm gonna do it. Can I do Rush Down first? Is it worth it? Not really, right? I need the energy. You guys think Rush Down is worth it? I don't think so. No, no. So that guy's dead. But I want to do Lesson Learn instead. Wait, oh, yeah, I could do Lesson Learn on this. Check this out. That guy's dead. Let me do this. Fight. Apotheosis. Wow. That's tempting. Oh boy. I think we just go we just go pop off here, right? We pop off here. Fasting crescendo do lots of damages. Uh fasting is a little rough because we Don't have Panacea, but Vault is cheap, and this is just too good. I could just protect here. Instead of enter and meditate. Should we enter meditate? I don't think so, right? This used to be two knobs, yeah. I guess we could enter meditate and we get more energy next turn because we have fasting now. That's actually pretty good because then we can get energy despite the fasting. Check this out, guys. This is disgusting. We, the lesson learns in the deck, right? So we kind of want to stall for it. You want to stall for lesson learned, yeah? And we also have a vault. So. Sit back, relax, and we have a vault as well. And we have a wish. Oh, it looks like lesson learned cannot be a thing. And I can't do wish either. I should have got out of a. Mm. I can't even do wish for gold. Imagine you can't even do wish for gold. I don't have the energy. I just, I just gotta kill. Now there's a world where we. F <sighs> no. All right, so no lesson learned. Fine. I won't greet it. Ooh, molten egg, double egg. Ooh, gambling ship, block by a lot of gold. Another halt, an empty fist, or meditate number two. This time the meditate is upgraded, so we can enter calm. Which can help with our energy on the on the turns that we're fasting that is not getting hit by panacea then that can help with the energy problems with meditate and get out of wrath even more halt so that when we're in wrath we are getting decent block it's not bad to balance my block or empty fist for damage and exiting my stances as well so we already have a ways to get out of wrath quite a bit you are apples melon smelling fresh with the follow thank you man and baku i missed it but thank you for the resub 20 months it is almost old enough to drink Insane. In some countries, your sub is already drinking. We could do more meditating. More meditating for more re recursion stuff and entering calm and feeling scared. I like halt better. Done. Alright. I'm gonna region because just in the event. Ooh, blind is good, but panache can be fun. Hmm. 
Do we look for... We should look for Panacea for fasting, right? I just have to say... Yeah, it's not really, really worth it. I guess I can always meditate it back. This fasting's awkward, but I think it's just worth it to play it regardless. We'll do this. I would do wish now. For gold? Or for... This fight should be pretty easy, right? So let's get the gold. I'm gonna read it out. Do I meditate just in case? Because I can do... Uh, eruption shenanigans. I do want lesson learned. Ooh. So, so much for healing. We got gold and we got upgrades. Empty body, not bad. This is gonna be a really fun deck. I feel like it's gonna be very strong. Because I don't need sense of time here. I think we're kinda going damage. Yeah, we're good. I don't need any of these. I didn't get the full value out of the region, but I mean I got some value and I got another potion, so it's fine. Mayhem is interesting. Do we scare are we scared of what mayhem hits? Or is trip just really good? The vulnerable is gonna be absolutely insane. Now, I don't even need to do indignation, which ends up being a curse as you hit act four. I just get trips. Or blinds from the toolbox. I mean, toolbox is so good. It's crazy. Now, Mayhem, on the other hand. I mean, I sort of care what it hits. If it hits Vault prematurely, etc. So, I'm going to do this. We got a Vault right away. And we got a Panacea. So, we could just Panacea, play our powers, play the things. Vault. Look for Fasting, then just fight and this game over. Or we can look for Fasting now, but then we can't play it. So, I think this is a good hand to just keep. We play all these things. I could get some damage in. Might as well vault. Next turn we have full block anyways, because of the horn cleat, but this time we have fasting, which has no downside. Then we got rush down. And then we just begin popping off. We could also wish upon a star. Ooh. Tempting. If I wish for strength, then I miracle the defend, it's game over. I could also just try to go for gold, but if I wish for strength, the game's over. Hmm. How much are we trying to farm gold here? Because like, here's the thing. We're very strong, and the watcher is very strong. So I could try to just get even more gold and really try to take advantage of how broken I am. Because do we even need the strength? I mean, like, we're vulnerable. Do we even need strength? The gold, gold, gold. 25 gold. Uh, I don't need strength. Matter of fact, I don't even need to, like, wish at all. Mm, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... The strength needs to free. Maybe I'll take the strength. Okay, I'll take the strength. Alright, lots of damage coming up. Lots of damage coming up. Alright, I want lesson learned, so let's try to get lesson learned to be a thing. Lesson learned, where art thou? There you are. Perfect amount of damage. Meditate is upgraded. All our cards are getting upgraded. The deck is getting stronger each fight. Meeting the bone if things get hairy. We have coffee dribbers, so meeting the bone is really nice to see. We can finally add a weekend. This is a teardrop relic. You start each combat in calm. Apply to weekend. You know, I do want my source of weekend. Yes. I was going to say that like we do have the blinds. Sometimes, but that's the uh, there's the blinds, but that's not reliable. All right, I don't want vigilance, I don't want that. I do like panacea. I can stop the artifacts, I can stop the uh debuff, and also maybe get fasting. So let's do that. I like all these cards bam, 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 bam. There's the fasting as well. My god, are we just out of control? This should be illegal in five states, yet it isn't. Because I just stopped the debuff 
And I got fasting out with no downside. I can kill I got a letter opener. So that I can see what I draw first. And then save my damage for this young lass. And hopefully, lessons learned. Lesson learned is coming. So I can be disrespectful and go for gold. How can I manage the gold here? What's the best thing? Me and your daughter Got a special thing going on I don't have a way to get back into uh, So I can't really get gold Because I don't have a way to get back into The uh, Wrath Yeah, but then I do wish to get into calm, right? And what happens is I take 18 damage So I'd rather not take any damage I played hardship before, yeah, yeah. I didn't play like a, a, a lot. I, I I got mainly into hardship. I was doing the infinite arenas. I, I really got into infinite arenas, and I enjoyed that a lot. I was even using like a little like when I was playing infinite arenas. It was when the popularity of the site was trying to t uh, take off. It was this site where you like put in your draft, and it tells you like how strong your draft was, and it gives you like some card choices and stuff like that. And I, that was like the beginning of that site popping off. Is when I was doing infinite arena. Uh, Pirates Outlaws. I'll check it out at some point. Pirates Outlaws. No, I, I, I have lethal. I want to get lesson learned. So what we're going to do is just uh, full block. I was trying to see if I can get money with the wish, but I can't. So we just need lesson learned. See, that's the sad life, guys. We, you either got to make money or you get an upgrade. Sometimes you can do both, but not often. Yeah. Ah. Wait, all about maximizing, guys. This is how you win. You got to min and max. Min and max is so important. But the deck's getting upgraded, and my god, we are looking strong. But for the heart, we're going to need some crazy ways to get blocked that right now we don't have. So we're going to need maybe a mental fortress. A talk to the hand would be very ideal. We're going to have to find a way to get blocked. For right now, we're not worried about it. Well, we are worried about it, but not like, not much I can do about it. So brilliance does every time you gain mantra in a combat you just add that to this so this becomes quite insane value if you have a mantra kind of deck but just by itself it's 16 for one just by itself which is pretty good in wrath form that is 32 with fasting that's 40 damage just by itself now we don't really have aoe so conclude is good aoe because we're about to fight the collector but what's awkward about that is that i've got gremlin horn so it counts as aoe let me explain why I think Fear Pot's actually better for this deck, by the way. I was going to explain why. How was I going to explain why? Wait, okay, first off. No, we're getting upgrades. So I want to upgrade Wish. <clears throat> Wish Crack. Or Russian. I think Russian's a good upgrade. Yes, good upgrade. I'll explain why now. Ooh, Panache for some AoE or Hand Degree. Do you guys want to get rich? I mean, there's so many things I could do. I can get rich. I can get upgrades. I can't get upgrades, actually. Because I'm not going to fatalize the little minions. So I can do hand degree just to give me 40 damage. On the small boys. We got wish early. Now this is big. I want to dig. Exclu I should keep the protects. They're not, they're not bad. But I want to dig for panacea because we have fasting. And imagine a turn where we're doing fasting. Take it back. What's better to do here right now. Is. Just wish and battle him. And we could always meditate back the fasting or meditate back the vault. That's fine. It's teardrop relic. So this is a, a watcher specific. You guys are going to find these relics tomorrow when the watcher goes live. And the patch goes live. Or did some paint felt on your hair? Oh, my hair got dyed, man. For like a week ago for the charity stream, Karia. I got purple hair, buddy. What was I gonna do? Pirates Outlaws. It's easy to play a roguelike card game. Build your deck and combos to become a re re reputed pirate. Pick heroes with ability and premium deck. 
Pirate Outlaws. Interesting. I'll check this game out. It looks interesting. Alright, so this, let's, let's do this. Do you want to? Do you want to be disrespectful and get the gold? Yeah, where you've been, Kadia? You missed it. Let's do that. How you been, man? Lesson learned. Non-enemy minion. All right. I wish I can get into wrath form right now. That'd be kind of nuts. I got the panacea. What's up, guitar? I tried to start with the three potions that got double fruit juice and snack oil. God damn. That's crazy. Oh, I forgot you were at the beach house, man. You were on vacation. I want to fatalize, but I can't. It's always the problem. You know what's funny? Is I kind of... Do I want to full block? I could full block. If I full block... Because once I get into my eruption stuff, we're going to be... Full attacking. Alright, check this out. I'm good, man. So check this out. You ready? And we can bring Meditate back to get the Fasting Vault. Don't forget that. Fasting is very good for this deck. But for right now, we're going to do this. Alright. Then we're going to do this. Alright. We're going to do that for the weekend. We get Vault because we can. Smite for the damage. Now I could do a little bit of Vigilance. Just to kind of get some block. But then I'm going to do Meditate to get Vault and... Fasting. We're gonna play fasting and game's over. I can go even crazier than that. I could do you one better. I could do this. I could do you one better. You ready for this? Now I could do fear pot just to win the fight right now. But I'll be kind. And we're gonna try to fatalize this man right here. You ready for this? We're gonna set up a fatalization. Setting up the fatalization of the end of degree. And he's been fatalized. He helped me upgrade my deck and GG. Not bad. The final person be very good because we're gonna need that where we're going, and where we're going is the heart, baby. Can I trans rights? What do you mean? Do I fight for trans rights? Absolutely. I'm the number one trans advocate. Ain't nobody gonna be transphobic around me. What's up, Almu? I think I figured this character out a little bit. Yeah, I, do. I think so. In my own little way, I think I figured out this character. I like it a lot. The scar is great. Look at that. It's beautiful. Alright, so. Vault is so good. To get everything set up. Because we do have some kind of setup, right? We have the wish you want to play. Sometimes a cheeky little cheeky wish. Uh, fasting, panacea. That's a thing. Meditate to maybe do some recursion. Vault is just so good. Scrawl for card draw, which is not bad to get the similar concept of getting things out. And get all my retain cards out. Like the protects and all that stuff. And then Ragnarok, we don't even need. We, nah, so it's going to be Vault. Now the only reason we take Ragnarok is if we had Talk to the Hand. Because then this is like... A lot of block of talk to the hand, but we don't. What we need right now is wallop. What I need is a wallop, but what I can take is five energy, fusion hammer, I got toxic egg, molten egg, and we got lesson learned. Never have I seen a freer energy relic. Now we could think calling bell because relics would be quite nice, so we can mitigate damage, things like cloak clasp, incense burner, tori, uh, what else is there? You know, all the crazy ass relics that we would love to get but can't guarantee. So, this is to take the energy free as can be. And boy, oh boy, we have a lot of energy because we got Coffee Dripper, Fusion, and Grumman Horn. We got Calm Shenanigans. We end starting Calm. So, energy is not a problem. Card draw is something we might want to look for. And 
we have a lot of sustain at these shops. So we can go for meal ticket here and do two elites. Let's see, I want to maximize elites. I can do three elites. Three elites it is. Game Fresh are doing absolutely nothing, unfortunately. Ooh, my lord. Are we just going to be a dirty, 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 dirty boy at this game? Alrighty, you guys ready for this? I can't hear you. Aye, aye, captain. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Check this out. This, bam. I can do letter opener. Is that it's probably better? Is it better? It allows him to get the, the upgrade, and then we can do like vault stuff. I got Wish. I'm gonna disrespect this fight. I'm gonna disrespect the crap out of this fight. Alright, it's not that disrespectful, but like, you know. It felt kind of disrespectful. Boy, oh boy, do I not like these Thorny Boys, though. Where's my fasting when I need it? Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Fasting, fasting. He's covered in yellow. What? How did song go? Excuse me, but how does the song go? Smite. Do we, we? We already disrespected this fight enough, right? We got everything we needed. We maximized it. It's just full value. Just absolute value, huh? So how many more upgrades do we need? We got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, seven more cards to upgrade. All right, that's doable. Tranquility, third eye, cut through fate. Now, third eye is interesting because it allows me to scry and find some stuff deep within my deck. The deck is approaching 30 cards. Cut through fate is interesting because it is a card draw that dumps my damage, and we do have five energy, so maybe cut through fate is not bad. Scry is the ability to one second. I need to look at this cursed gold real quick. Now here's the problem. I went a route that didn't have shops. Well, there's a shop here, right? There's a shop here. And there's a shop in Act 4. There's a shop here and a shop in Act 4. Now I could probably get by with normality in my deck. Nine hundred ninety-nine gold is really good, guys. And if we happen to take damage, we've got meat in the bone, and we got meal ticket, right? So I gotta get through two hobby fights in an elite, and then we get the shop to remove one curse. There's still another normality. Ay 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 ay. Nah, it scares you, but don't worry. I'll be the man to take normality. Because we have so much damage, so much value, that we can often just end fights in three cards if we need to. Like, I mean, we could do a lot with three cards with what we're doing on our turns. Yeah, we have awful turns, but the deck is kind of big, and... I mean, I'm... I have a shop here. Remove one. I might get removal here. Eh. It's risky, of course. It is risky. Oh, we have a lot of gold as it is. Transmutation. Sadie, so Panacea, let's go meditate. I don't need that. I don't need, I don't need that. I don't need that. Let's go for like fasting right away, right? Let's be super greedy for it. Let's see what Transmutation has. Ooh, Metamorphosis. Violence. Got a wall up. Ooh, I need that for, I need that for the heart. Yes, yes, yes. Violence. This is really because I want to just get this out of my deck, right? I want to just get these out of my deck. 
so I can draw into the good stuff. And the good stuff is coming. Like, take out the stuff. This is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. Got two vaults, though. Do you have the ability to get out of this form if I need to? It only have empty body. I should probably do vigilance. Fuck. Like, how much would I want to keep... I should probably just vigilance and pass here, because... <laughs> I don't really want to, uh... Stay in this form for, for, the, for these attacks. It sucks I got both vaults there. I just want to get rid of that attack out of the way. I don't want to prolong that attack, but got fasting. And we got wish. Oh boy, we got wish and empty body. Okay, let's go. So let's do gold. I'm going to disrespect the hell out of this fight. Absolutely disrespect this fight. Oh, baby. Sorry, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. So damage, damage, damage. We want we do wanna to try to uh Lesson learned. I forgot that lesson learned's a thing. I would have I would have done less damage with fear no evil and ending that. Because now I'm taking four damage. Is it worth it for an upgrade though? Four damage for an upgrade? I think so. I, I should have attacked one less, ending calm here, leave my low life, and then just do protect. But I, I think an upgrade's worth four damage. Absolutely. I mean, I do. I know we have coffee trooper. Oh, it's more than four damage because we have burns. So it's six damage for an upgrade. Uh, I can just use this actually. It's fine. I don't need black pot. Got the upgrade. Alright, protect upgrade. Unceasing top. Ooh, that's card draw. Ooh, a scrawl to get everything going. I mean, yeah, we have scrawl's great. We have five energy. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes. What a what a fight. Ooh, a free little relic. Oma Mori. Oh, why didn't you come a little bit earlier? I would have had a lot of gold. Oma Mori now seems just kind of useless. I can't really guarantee to use that, so I'm going to sapphire the crap out of that one. The bomb is pretty good in this fight, even though we have damage in other ways. Never mind, we just vault, vault, bomb it up. But let's see what else I can draw here. Ooh, fasting. We could do Fasting, Bomb, Vault. But I want to get Battle Him out. So, this is just better. The Bomb is just kind of useless. Although, if I Vault, the Bomb is... <laughs> it's going to be ready very soon. Vault and Bomb isn't bad. I dare say this is better. Look for lesson learned. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Wait, should I try this? Should I try disrespectful wish? Where's wish? Let's get the upgrade. Wish got upgraded. Ooh, nice. All right, so we're just like smacking the crap out of these fights. We're basically looking at these fights as potential campfire upgrades, as opposed to anything else. Like hand agree, it's kind of good as well. So we have the ability to upgrade here. Let's get rid of all of this. You get gold or lesson learned? Should I get both? Ooh, wish. Am I disrespecting here? Yes, right? No, get gold? Or strength? Disrespect, yeah? Disrespect, right, get gold. Get gold here on this guy. Get gold on this guy.
get an uh, up upgrade on this guy. And then battle him. God, this fight is like I just have so many things. It's crazy. I just have so many things I could do. Absolutely insane how strong the watcher is. A value is pretty good block. I can take protect because we do have five energy, so having protect for block might be necessary. Don't want to bloat the deck. We do need to find a better way to get block though, that's the thing. Another protect. With fasting, protect is uh, 13 block. I'm sorry, 19 block. Nope, actually better. 20 block with fasting. 20 block for two. So it's like two evaluates in one card. Think of it like a dash kind of value. In the sense that it's compounded. But the deck is already getting kind of large, right? And I guess we have a scrawl. We have a gambling chip. Do I need another protect? Let's look at the balance here. Let's look at the balance. Now we're good. Alright. Reptomancer. Okay, Gremlin Horn, be damned. You ready for this? Violence versus Dark Shackles. What do you guys think is better? Violence. Of course. Ooh, what a turn. What a turn. Got a vault. Okay, this is gonna be free, free, free. We need wallop. Absolutely. Um, keeping this hand. Am I? Yes, I am. Hmm. I want to get my attacks out, right? Because my whole point here is to like, try to find... Should I try fatalizing this person? No, that's gonna be weird. Let's see how this goes. Oh, we got Wish. I, I can actually disrespect this fight, can't I? I can actually disrespect this fight? What do you think? Go for the gold? If there's ever a fight I can disrespect, this is this one? Let's see if I can get my zero cost stuff out. another vault coming up disrespect it disrespect it disrespect it I need a fear pot for this fight ah there is a lesson learned that I didn't get to use but that's fine how do you fasting how much time do I have um, this becomes 8, right? So 32, 28. Is that just lethal by itself? Let me go pillow, essence of steel. Another wish. Okay. Wow. Now, I guess wish could be useful. We do have the energy for it, and we could just do wish for plated armor. If we really want block, wish plated armor is not bad. But Mental Fortress could be a really good way to get block for the heart. So basically we do things like... We start in Calm, we get out of Calm, and get block. Um, do Fear and Evil, get back into Calm. Tantrum to get back out, get more block. Crescendo, meditate, more block. Etc, etc. So Mental Fortress will get a lot of hits. But a second wish. It's upgraded. Forced to recall. Alright. We need something to do at these campfires, or we just don't and don't care. Alright, now we need to set up the deck for the heart, right? We need the block, so... We've got a white bee statue, which is kind of lame, because I'm not really being having a chance to use my potions. Secret technique can allow us to find panacea to do the panacea fasting more reliably, or... 
get us a meditate to get out, get us a vault when we need it, do a wish when the time is right. The secret technique just looks good. Removing a strike feels good as well. And I gotta save money for another shop because this shop was pretty dooky, if I'm being quite honest. I suppose maybe we try to do the mental fortress and try to get the block value out of that. Um, because like I said, we're gonna need more blo We only have 62 max HP, and we don't have wall up. Mental Fortress could be what I need to get that little extra oomph against the heart. The yeah, Durkis with the 10 bits. Let's go, Durkis. Thank you, man. Easy number one bidder. We don't need Reach for the Heavens. Our, our offense is absolutely impeccable. We want our defense to become impregnable. And what's the other thing? Impregnable, impeccable. What does he say? Let's go, Boogoo Hoo, with the 200 bits, showing him that 10 bits is not for me. Jeremiah ain't no 10 bit chump. Yo, thank you, man. <laughs> thank you for the 200 bits. I appreciate that. Impregnable, impenetrable. Impregnable, impenetrable. Mike Tyson. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. Uh, that's what he says. Yeah, thanks for the follow, Spoo 2. Alright, anyways. Another meditate to get out of calm if you feel like we're worried about being in wrath too much against the heart or mental fortress. I really gotta make a de decision now because we're getting to the tail end of this act and... Uh, I'm not confident with my ability to block. I guess these two relics would make a difference. I need to make a decision now, 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 now. Am I getting out of wrath reliably enough? Or do I need another meditate? I might need another meditate. I don't think we get out of wrath reliably, reliably enough. There are turns where we're stuck in wrath. So that's been okay. Being stuck in wrath is okay for the most part. Because we've been killing everything before it kills us, right? Against the boss, like at the heart. That is not the case. So you really want to make sure you're not stuck in wrath at some point. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think we need another meditate. Damn, crazy. I guess empty body wasn't bad either. Juzu, okay. What's up, Michael? Got the blind, got the discovery. Ooh, choices. This gives us more choices. We got the wish early. All right. Mm, let's do this. Early wish got a vault. Oh my god, we can do everything, guys. We can do wish vaults. Do we disrespect this? Go for the gold, or do we try to max? Uh, this is an elite. I think we should respect the elites. It's only fair. So we'll get the strength here. It is only fair we respect elites, in my opinion. Although I am tempted to do discovery. Matter of fact, I guess tantrum does give us block, not block, but energy. So let's do that first. Because then we can do a cheeky little discovery, then a vault. And that's kind of really nice, isn't that? A weave does nothing for this fight. Cut through fake could be interesting. Before we vault. Crescendo just to get it in my hand. Get the hell out of here. And now we can vault again. We didn't get the panacea for the fasting. So what I want to try to do maybe is find it, withdraw, or... Say, who cares? I got five energy as it is. I think it's worth to see if we can find it. Okay. Vaulting again is interesting because I have a lot of blocks. So I almost feel like I don't want to vault here. Because I, I have the ability to just... Block fully. But a part of me wants to do like vaults and then try to meditate back the fasting when I have Panacea. Oh my god, the slow stack. I just realized the stack of slow s maintains. Oh my god, wait, this is. That changes everything. What? Oh, that changes everything. Oh my lord. I didn't realize that that is a thing. We're gonna get lesson learned.
What the actual... Disgusting. Bottle flame. We should bottle the weaken, right? I think having the ability to have weaken on first turn for the heart is the most important thing. I don't know how I'm going to get the cheeky little weaken off uh, with the sash whip, but having ability to weaken on the first turn is pretty important. Flurry's fine, but like, it doesn't do anything for me. Like, what? It gives me some additional damages when I enter stances and stuff. But, like, I don't have the duality to take advantage of that. It's a, it's a dead draw when I find it. I have five energy. Imagine five energy, and I draw into a flurry of blows. Just let that sink in. Five energy. I got big dreams. I draw this card. Yeah, terrible. So we do a uh, sesh whip. <coughs> Because the weakens uh, mitigation is like we're only aware of mitigation at this point, guys. We're, uh, we're on mitigation, and here we got secret technique for the panacea, so we can just chill. Now we just got the panacea, or we could do wish right away. I guess that's kind of better, right? So, mm, it's more energy efficient. Let's do panacea. So we'll do this. Check this out. Got bam, bam. Got the weaken. Battle him. Rush down. Vault. Now we got full block, got fasting out of the way, and now we got tantrum. Quite beautiful. Bam, bam, bam. If I want to, I can meditate back the eruption and the weaken, but we don't need that. We'll do secret technique instead. And the deck's absolutely broken. I can wish for gold. I think I just might. I think I just might. We got things that will make your mama say, what just happened? So we're going to look for a lesson learned. And there it is. I could have done the second wish, but the upgrade's where I'm at. Oh, no, wait. Letter opener makes this bad. Because if I do this... Oh, no. I need something else. You ready? I need another attack that is not... There we go. Because Smite's too strong. And a lesson learned upgraded itself. Yeah, the art does look good, good right? Bottle? Lightning? So like water, that can start giving us the ability to have better block when we end in calm we have seven block by ending in calm which is totally possible to meditate like water what have you maybe that little bit of extra block will be useful and maybe we can get away with the setup cost of it because we have vaults to help us get the setup going and we have gambling chip i wonder if that's what we're taking deck is super thick which is why powers are probably better, because powers don't worry about the thickness of the deck, right? So it's a passive way to get more block. With, uh, as long as I find this and set it up, then I passively have that. Which is kind of nice for a big deck, so you can just do whatever else you're doing and have that. But, how often or how quickly can I find it? Is it worth it? Against the hearts, the damages are going to be something else. I'm still not solved. Right now, we just need to be in full heart mode. And I wonder if light water is one tool. Absolutely. Panacea. I want to get Panacea out, out, out. Lesson learned now. It's kind of... You know, there's a world we can do lesson learned now with... No. Oh, we got Panacea fasting. Let's go. And get the wish out too. Oh, a baby. Disrespect it or no? I could disrespect it, but I think we take the strength in these fights because we respect these fights. I did say trans, right, Skatar? I already said it. Now they're asking me to say it again. Now they're making me feel weird. Now I'm like, was the first time not enough? 
What's your agenda? He stays in intangible, right? If I do that? Unfortunate. This is fine. Let's go. Wait, I can bring back... Lesson learned. You missed up and ran away, Shane. <laughs> the runs are going good. I thought this was a strategy. Every time I went to get to get a win, I just do it. It was working for every time, unless it doesn't. Every time I want to get a win, I just do it. And then if it's worked out for me every time, unless it doesn't work out, I've I've, I've been employing the same strategy for a long time. Basically, whenever I want to win, I just do it, and then it usually always works out. I mean, it always works out, except for the times where it doesn't work out. So, yeah, I it's a good strategy. It is a really good one. I always win when I want to win, except for the times where I don't win. So, this must not have wanted it, but bad enough. I wonder if we could do Vault Lesson Learned. No, that doesn't work. So, what if I do this? Check this out. Ah, uh, this is awkward as hell. How can I make lesson learned appear here? I think I just gotta like... I don't think I can. I think I just have to get lucky. Meditate lesson learned is such an awkward thing. I guess, okay. We got vault coming up, so... If we don't find lesson learned here, then we can vault and find it afterwards. Exactly, and we get gold. We disrespect him. Now this is huge because now I can get lesson learned. All right, we'll do it again. Look, don't worry. You didn't find it the first time. There's more where that came from. Don't worry. Lesson learned. Where you at? There we go. Now tell me that isn't positively broken, or at least fun. Our deck's almost fully upgraded, so we got one. One more card to upgrade. Oh, boy. Is that still enough to... Okay. So, Alpha does absolutely nothing for the heart here. <sighs> Is this streamer always so nerdy? New viewer here. What's up, Elnarion? Welcome to the stream. If your first time here, the answer is yes. Oh, Owen Mori, where are you now? Because I do not want to be at 59 HP. Two Madness, because we have Toxic Egg. We jamming. Jamming, jamming to the sun. Why don't you come on jamming with me? What's the lyrics of the song? Okay, I know jamming is part of the lyrics. Jamming, jamming, jamming. Jamming. Right straight from the yacht. Oh, jamming in the name of the Lord. Okay, I, I knew that was Holy Mount Zion. Crazy. Good song. I hope you like jamming too. I just watched a minute run on YouTube from like a year ago where you're like, please don't be mad. And I think about it whenever I see this event. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Madness for unceasing child. And this guy is thinking with portals. This guy's thinking with the biggest portals. I have no upgrades. Wait, I lied. I have one more upgrade. The last upgrade of the deck. Oh my god, and how beautiful it is. By the way, I have 51 life, and I can't rest. So I hope that doesn't kill me at the bus. It's tears for hoping, right? 
So we'll get the bomb and hand the greed. I want to do the bomb. It's pretty decent for this fight, right? We got a wish. Ooh, can we wish for madness? Got the weaken, but the weaken's... Ah, it's going to be hard with the amount of... Uh... So here's the thing. We can do liquid memories on the wish if we so choose. Is that... Notion, does that happen? They don't, they don't have like a, a soft lock that you can't get the event if you... So they have this thing where... It's called coding. And they prevent you from getting events if... You don't have... The necessary requirements. Maybe that doesn't stop that from happening. I wish I can get fasting... Uh... I want panacea. I think it's worth it to... Save this... For panacea, because it's a boss fight, you know? I, I deserve that respect. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this, this... This... And if the Lord wills it, it's gonna give me the bomb for free! Okay, that's good. That means next time I draw that... I wonder if it's worth playing now. Ooh, there are the vaults. There's way too many vaults. This is kind of gross. Because I want to get Wish out. I know, a deck's not sound. What's up, Lurks? Lurkus. So we don't want this because we're not going to fatalize. There's no reason to fatalize. It's just a curse. So let's get rid of the curse. But first, I want to wish upon a star. I know I'm using my potions, and maybe that's a mistake. But what's more important right now is that we get the hell out of Calm and into Wrath, because damage needs to happen now. There's the Panacea, so when we draw Fasting again, that's really good. Um, so we're going to do tan Ready for this? Tantrum. I wish I played Fasting, though. Alrighty. Ooh, Tantrum, that's a swoof. That is a problem because Tantrum is very integral to what we do. But that's fine because we're about to meditate the fasting and everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Before I do that, I want to wish upon a star. How disrespectful do we want to be here? Uh, more strength or plated armor? What's it going to be? More strength or plated armor, what's it gonna be? Strength it is. Scroll for the madness. I want to meditate the fasting though. But I want to kill this guy now, so here's what I'm gonna do. I can get the weekend, I can get calm. So if I do this. I do this again. I mean, we're cooking with so much gas, it's unbelievable. Look at the amount of gas I'm cooking with. In fact, I can end the fight next turn. Like, I can... <laughs> Guys, this... <sighs> my deck's too strong. But, fortunately, this can't work against the heart, but my deck is way too strong. It's disgusting. Alright, TG. Did I disrespect him fully? I didn't, right? Okay. Let's go. I'm not cold this. I mean, wake woke up. Get three of them attacks. It costs zero. Interesting. My sound's cut out. Made it, made it. My sound is cut out. That's perfect time for me to go get a mango drink. I'll be right back. We jamming. Jamming. 
Jamming straight from the yard. I hope you like Jamming straight from There's nothing here. I sit on the air. Oh, that's so cool. Monsieur. Monsieur Papa makes these mango nectars. Oh boy, these things are so good. Just mango in a, in a glass. Mmm. Right, metamorphosis, even though I don't really like it, to be honest. We wish for strength yet again. We need wallop, guys. We need something really bonkers. You know what I'm really, really upset about, actually? I'm gonna go into Act 4, and the first thing I'm gonna do is do nothing, because the campfire is useless for me. That's unfortunate. I'm thinking about that, but let's get through this first, because, you know, we're not guaranteed to win this. Might just do plated armor, honestly. Because I have some powers to play. So I think we'll do plated armor. I gotta weaken. All right, so wait. What powers do we need to play? What can we just get away with not playing and just kill this guy really fast? Because we have the damage of a thousand watchers. So like, like water could be something I don't have to play. Battle him, we're gonna play. What's the other power that I have? Fasting. I think fasting is 100% worth it. But Rushdown, I don't have to play. So I won't play Rushdown. I guess maybe we don't play like water. So if we're not playing like water, then our block's a little bit worse. And right now it's positive because we do have... Uh, you know, we're starting in calm. But here's the thing. What if I just play the powers anyways and then go sh vault and try to kill this thing as quick as possible? So that means we're going to want to wish for strength because we're going to want to vault and just kill this thing as fast as possible. And how do we survive the phase two? This is not simple. So I think the sooner we get to phase two, the more we can just do like fasting and get block off that and just kind of not being wrath form too often. And the deck has things it could do. Fasting is really the, the crux of this deck. I wonder if I just do one wish for plated armor, the other one for strength. I think we play like water anyways. Hmm. My armor is so bad. Why did I put this in my deck? I guess we have unceasing top. I want the weaken, but how can I guarantee it? I can't really. We got both wishes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I wanted to play battle him. Alright, this is a really bad hand. Where is the battle uh, bullet time? I guess it could have hard reset the whole hand, but I like these things. I want to play battle him. Be right back. Let me use the bathroom. Be right back. Can someone tell me why L put a raw orange peel in the toilet? Because I know L didn't eat a raw orange peel and then poop it out raw. So can someone explain why she did that? I would like to know. Anyways. Uh, it's a hard turn. I'm gonna take some damage though. This, this headphones should keep disconnecting. I can't hear the sounds. It's quite tilting. It's not even the headphones, it's like the, the, the toggle for the headphones. Is faulty. practically falling out in the back okay uh guys 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 what about the second wish guys for more plated armor are we thinking like i really want the strength because the strength is gonna make this fight a lot easier
But what if we take a second plated armor and we just have that? And instead of strength, we'll just have the attrition of being able to survive more turns with plated armor and then I can take this slower and we'll still be fine. I do want to play battle him though. But there's a world where I do empty body wish right now. Taking the strength. I didn't get to get the weekend, unfortunately. I didn't get to get the weekend, unfortunately. There's the fasting. We do want to play fasting. I want to be in eruption right now. Do I want to do fasting first before I erupt? I would like the panacea. Fasting is absolutely bonkers. But I would like the panacea first. And how often can we just say to ourselves... I don't do fasting now. Ooh boy, I love the way you move. Yeah. More cards off. There's the panacea of fasting. Okay. Now I play it, even though it's gonna be a brutal son of a gun, is it not? Gonna make this turn a little bit harder, but once I vault, then the next turn is a little bit easier, and that's worth it to play. Yeah, yes, it is. Let's get this out of the way. Just don't hit vault. All right, give me something to exit. There's the exit. It would be nice if like madness hits. I kind of want to vault again, just to kind of get. Cause here's the thing. I could also just kill this phase before this phase does anything to me, right? So, like, if I just keep vaulting and end the phase quickly, then I go to the next phase and boom, we are in the clear. But we do have, like, Fear Evil coming up and... I mean, I technically could... Get out of this phase. But I think let's just block what we can, because we can block for a decent amount, right? Hmm. Give me a second. So, I need to kind of choke him out. It's absolutely awful. Why is that? Maybe we do want to vault again. Maybe we do want to just get out of this phase. Tantrum coming up. Uh, we do have better block next turn. Maybe I do want to vault now. I, I mean, taking a small hit. I should have done damage first. Uh, hmm. Not that much damage. Only five damage. Sure. I stayed in eruption mode, that could do a lot more damage though. Weak in time. The problem is. I kind of want to vault to end this turn so that next turn I could set up myself for a more successful so like for instance if I kill them next turn when I draw cards 
and then I could probably play power while he's dead. Because if I just end now, who knows what's coming around next turn. I'm in damn wrath form. That's scary as hell. I could say, Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Or I could vault and then waste that resource. But maybe that's fine. Let's do that. Let's do that. You know what? Let's do that. Let's keep that resource. Alright. So, lesson learned. How cool it is. I'm hoping that next turn doesn't kick my ass. Get this out of the deck. Oh, we got Rushdown. That's sick. So now I can play that. Alright, let's go. Ooh, boy. This guy's trying to hurt me. I had two Meditates coming up. A Fear No Evil coming up. So, is it safe to say we could Vault here? Or do we just Empty Body now? Because I can go for Lethal. I guess I could just Full Block as well, you know? God, the choices should be quite simple. Like, I could stay in Wrath Form and hope that the Fear No Evil, the two Meditates save me. And Secret Technique as well, so you have four outs. Or we just get out of this phase now. And save the Vault altogether. So he's only doing, what, 46 damage? 46 is absolutely light work. 46, more like 40 zero. Down out, so I'll do this. A smites time. Metamorphosis. I guess Meditate's probably better, huh? Meditate's probably better because I can play, uh... The, uh, Tantrum crap. If I want to, I can Vault, and I, just, I go Lethal next turn. This is where we go Lethal, you ready? This is for all my Lethal boys. This is for all the boys out in the, the yard. I right, can't do anything else. I already maximized the disrespect. I guess I could take for me in the bone. I could take how much damage? Seven, eight damage to get me in the bone. How do I achieve that? What's up, the great salty? How do I achieve eight damage to my face? Is that maximizing? I'm taking eight just to heal for four. Taking eight to heal for four. So I'll be four HP healthier, which is, this is doable. We have all the power. I guess it's doable. So for instance, I could take a damage now. Ah, that's right. I do have like meal ticket. <laughs> RGG. Can this do with the hearts? 2,400 nearly. I could have perfected some more leads. This would have been a 2,400 going into Act 4. And this might be the first time in your life where you see a 2,400 not make it. So we're forced to do absolutely proceed. Got a free heal. And we have a lot of... Go Bottle Tornado. Does that... Oh, there's the wall up. Can we buy both? Did I just beat the game? Did we just get bottled fasting with wall up? Now, Enlightenment is looking interesting with uh, Unseen Top, but let me take a look. 
Wallop is our savior. I am titillated. Scintillating, titillated. Oh, God. Yeah, pillow, coffee. I have a lot of good combos, like coffee dripper, pillow. We have... Uh, Marcus, that's pretty much the only... Okay, bottle, tornado. Yes, for fasting. Yeah, that has to be worth it. If you bottle fasting, we can just search for panacea. Ah, but in the event that we don't get panacea, how bad is that? What about tornado is not the play? What if it's like... Empty body. No, no, no. I think we're... What if it's like draw pot? And remove a strike. Draw pot, remove a strike. So it's like wallop, draw pot, remove a strike. Getting fasting right away would be really beneficial, but Panacea is not guaranteed. And I know we have t gambling chips, so we can try our damnedest to find Panacea so we can stop the vulnerable and we can get fasting. We just win the game. So if we gambling chip into Panacea, we win the game, right? Fasting right away, no vulnerable. Five energy, sky's the limit. We have great block. <sighs> the other alternative is... I just want to find fasting regardless. It's not really the fat. It's not the... No, I want to find panacea. It's not the fasting that's important, but the panacea. Unless... Unless I find panacea, but not fasting. And then we're stuck with the idea... Not with the idea, but we're stuck with four energy. Which is significantly worse. When we had things like secret technique in the deck. To find the panacea for us. So yeah, I come back to bottled fasting. Or maybe we don't care about the bottling process at all. <sighs> okay, so... We want Wallop, okay? That's what we want. So right now we can get insurance for the Elite and get Swift Pot and remove a strike. Or we can just take a bottle and move on. Enlightenment thing? Enlightenment is something I talked about. Like, it helps me with some energy costs for the Wishes and Unseason Top. Might get some playability, but... I mean, it, it could help with the wishes and things like wallop now, but for the most part, it doesn't really help at all. Remove a strike. Drop hot. Getting fasting in this thirty this thirty seven card deck. I repeat, thirty seven card deck. But that's not the important part. The important part is the panacea. I guess same technique is a thing. Oh boy, thirty seven cards. What am I doing? Do we really need fasting that bad? I say we do, but the energy is a problem. I guess we have calm form. Is removing a strike better in the long run? With the draw pot. Yes, it is, boys. Uh, what if I get rid of fear pot and get into the stance pot instead? It's just such a long run. Why is it so long? Stance pot instead? Well, vulnerable could be... Vulnerable is kind of bad against this elite because of the because of the uh, artifacts I guess maybe that's not bad I can weaken one of them or weaken then vulnerable and entering wrath could be card draw entering calm could be hmm. they're, both, they're both decent I'm not really worried about this elite but maybe I should be no I'm not worried about this elite there's the blind Okay, oh boy, uh, Vault just kind of takes a shit over this fight, doesn't it? Isn't Vault just like so good? Oh, GG, guys. GG, guys. Wait, did I just kill myself? Wait, did I just kill myself? No, we're fine, we're fine. I need the ability to get out of this stance. So I could do Panacea now, just for fasting, or I could just pull up a Meditate or something, right? Or what if we just go for Lethal? Wait, so Secret Technique. I guess, you know, Madness is a thing as well. Uh... <laughs>
список. Is madness better for wish? What about vault again? What if we vault again? Fasting vault. Uh, what if we do wish vault instead? Wish for the strength and then fasting is so much better though. Get less energy though. So wishes still keeps our energy and we can do wish vault. And we go for the kill with smites. Now we're cooking one guess. Now we're cooking with gas. Hello, sir. This is gas talking. Yeah, I'm cooking with gas. Nice to meet you. This is what gas looks like because we're about to get a zero cost protect. And let him learn just for the hell of it, just to show him that I can, even though I have nothing to upgrade. It's about disrespecting him. It's about teaching them a lesson. But a wallop absolutely has to save me. And nothing to tick up here, so. End the fight. Happy Fire, Weak Pot. Weak Pot might. Ooh, Fear No Evil. Now. Hmm. Weak pot might be better because if I can weaken his butt and mitigate all his damage with my 62 health pool, I am happy. But do I want to sacrifice a draw pot for that? <sighs> Maybe if I take Fear No Evil, I don't worry about the stances as much. I can get rid of the stance pot. I do have weak pot opening hand though. Like weaken my stash whip. My, my stash whip is opening hand. But that doesn't weaken for the second phase. Is halt how we're gonna get our block? Absolutely not. It's too cheap. I guess wallop is what we want to see more often. So evaluate gives us insights. But we have one season top if there's ever a thing about that. Do I want to get one more way to get into calm before we go? Let's think. One, two, three. No, I think we're good. Oh my panacea toolbox, I never doubted you. They said you were a meme. They said it couldn't be done. And here we are. Vulnerable be damned. I guess enlightenment is the thing though. Like, I mean, here's the thing. Enlightenment does have wishes and a lot of expensive cards. Could be useful. Not panacea, it is. There's the wish. There's the other panacea. Okay, let us just. F I can get rid of all the debuffs, but more importantly, I want to find. Ah, oh, this is a bad hand. I really want to find fasting right about now. We could just take the strength and call it a day, get rid of all the debuffs, and it's as if it's just me and the boy. I mean, I could just do one panacea and shuffle the other one in the deck and try to find fast another day. Went well, Deluxe Switch. We ended with 3,553. Got a lot of pies in the face. We did 24 hours stream at the end of the charity stream on YouTube. A lot of good runs during the charity stream. Mm hmm. Now I'm going to lose all my artifacts, all three of them, because of the heart. That's why I want to find faster right away, but. Uh, this is tough, man. I can't even really use a weaken. Madness is a dead draw at the moment. Wish is really good. I can do plated armor, but I think I want to do strength, because strength is going to be my wallop, and I can kill him faster. To try to dig deeper for fasting, I could. I can get rid of Ascender's Bane. 
or let it die out now for my future turns. Or I'm thinking, my setup is so important, I have to shuffle where Sender's main back in. Because once I'm set up, I can afford to draw this later. But right now, time is of the essence. So, I sacrifice future draws, which are already going to be tainted with the fact that this guy's giving me statuses. For fasting earlier. Is that circumspect or is that Papega? Circumstance, circumspect or Papega? You decide. Draw pot, dig deeper. Gotta get the weak in here. I guess, wait, the strength matters. But I'm not sure I'm gonna play that yet. That's the thing. Ooh, we got vaults so we could keep it coming. Oh boy. And I could also have the vaults. Wait, I can make this a 50 50. Matter of fact, I can play my whole hand because of madness. Oh boy. So we do the strength. I'm gonna do. I know it's a lot of block I'm giving up, but. It's important that we find fasting. This is how we do it. Scrawl is how we find it, guys. Scrawl. There's my wall up, but scrawl is how we find it. This is how we find it. Passing is two cost, yeah? Find it. Find it! We found it! There goes everything. All my powers. I'm set up for the success. That's me looking to succeed. And we gotta protect. And we got the protects. And we did a lot of damage. So we've got only frail, but not vulnerable. I'm in wrath, so it looks scary. But once I get out of wrath, it's game over. Let's do damages. And just like that, 33 damage is all we're looking at. I can bring back some goodies. And the goodies I'm going to bring back are the weakened. And like water. Maybe wallop, actually. Or is it the weakened? Weakened and like water? You know, wallop is a thing as well. We do smite into weakened. Into like water. Now, I could do Sandspot to enter Wrath now. Keep. So I can draw it to Wish, right? No, I can't draw it to Wish, can I? I have Rushdown. No, I can't draw it to Wish. Alright, and GG. Wish for Strength because we really want to get this damage going, or are we looking Plated Armor esque? Because I guess it's a little scary. The statuses are really kind of bad. I mean, more strength means I can just kill him quicker and the wallops become better, but I think we need plated armor. No, it's not. Plated armor's not three free cards a turn, technically, because it doesn't give me immediate block. It gives me at the end of my turn, and my health pool is still important, just regardless of ending turn block. Oh, it's 8 strength, so it says 4 strength, but it's actually 8 in wrath form, so think of that as extra block for wallop, but the is the deck small enough to draw wallop enough? Think of things like tantrum as well, tantrums are big damages. Alright, so tantrums are big damage, not to mention there's things like smites that end up getting 8 strength, so that just does so much damage that I end the turn, I end the, the fight faster by doing damage as opposed to, um, Yes, we could disrespect him and get gold, but no. Uh, so yeah, strength, like I said, ends the fight faster by doing more damage, but 
I'm a, I'm a little worried about my block. A little worried about my block, but the, the with the uh, the strength, I will have. I want to get rid of slime, but I also want to not want to protect my life total. So I kind of want to no fuck. I don't have to talk to the hand guys, and the weekend's running out. This is scary. Should I take this to get 24? No, no, no. Alright. This is scary. This is scary, scary, scary. We don't have weaken. I guess I could save those. I'll get mad inside of my deck. I want to hit it protect. I can bring the two protects back. Is that worth it? Is bringing two protects back the better play? They're not bad. It's a good block. And now we just gotta do some damage, guys. Where the hell is my wrath form? Yeehaw, baby. Let's go. Wallop time. This is the trump we gotta do damage. So we do. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Bam. 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 Wait, maybe, maybe we can, we, the ideal thing is to stay in this form. The absolute ideal thing is to stay in this form. So that next turn we do even more damage. And then the turn after that we have Vault. So I bring it Halt. Do I just do, do, I just do Protect just so I can like uh, have full block? Or do I want to save this for next turn? I mean, we're taking four damage. No, no, we don't want to meditate because we want to stay. I guess we could meditate and bring back wallop or hmm. I guess we could meditate, like to protect and like I don't. We have wrath form. I want to stay in wrath form, but I guess we have ways to get into wrath form. I guess we do have ways to get into wrath form. And we can always re-meditate the wallop. Wait, I actually just had the biggest brain play. I bring back meditate wallop, and I use wallop, and then I meditate it again. Is that huge brain or small brain? Oh, we got vaults. Oh my god, I feel the wind. It's so juicy at the moment. It's happening. No, oh, I'm winning like a G at the moment right now. Mm -hmm. Do I want to vault? Do I even need to do this? What The whole play that I was about to do, do I need to do this? Don't we just win next turn? No, not like this. I guess I can bring Tantrum back. I can bring back Tantrum. Ah, uh, this is actually kind of... If I stay in Wrath form... What if I just do... T no, fuck. What if I just do Tantrum now and stay in Wrath form? I'm not gonna Vault here, no, no, no. I'm not gonna Vault, but what if I just do Tantrum now, bring it back next turn, and next turn... All I have to do is 154 damage, which... Uh, is that possible? I'm scared we're not going to have enough damage next turn. Fuck. Fuck. Because I want I want to keep Vigilance as well next turn. I actually want to keep Vigilance next turn. Frick. I'm getting rid of all my block. Wait. I guess we have to calculate for lethal. We have 12 strength. So we calculate for lethal. 
Uh, tantrum alone is going to be disgusting, right? As long as we draw eruption, tantrum alone is disgusting. So I don't want to draw into eruption. Tantrum alone, if I get eruption first, we're looking at... Like, lethal by itself. If I get eruption, tantrum alone is lethal by itself. I still want to draw into it now. That's the only problem. I don't want to draw into it now. Okay. So if I get eruption, which we just guaranteed, we just won. Right, easiest class in the game. Like, it's crazy. Easiest class in the game, dude. This class, uh, guarantee 10, 10 0 to 10 20 every single time. I overthought like crazy. It was a long run. Easiest class in the game, though. There was a lesson learned. I know. Okay, I forgot to disrespect it. Let's pretend we did a lesson learned there. We actually just, uh, disrespected the heart. Let's pretend. 3,244. Now, we could have perfected a couple more elites. This could have been like a decently higher score. Strong run. And all of it had to do with Calm and Wrath. It's all we needed. All we needed. And cool things that happened in that run were like two wishes, lesson learning, everything. You know, cool stuff.